Good evening. I'm Raven Carroll with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. Tonight we will be holding a service of Compline, that's the ancient office of night prayer. Uh, today is Tuesday the 16th of February, but we are celebrating Siegfried and also uh, Thomas Bray, um, both of whom their days to commemorate them were yesterday the 15th. So a little bit of information first about Siegfried. Um, <clears throat> Siegfried was most probably an Englishman sent by King Ethelred to assist in the evangel evangelization of Norway and Sweden in the 11th century. He took with him two fellow missionaries, all three of whom were eventually consecrated bishops. Siegfried was made Bishop of Vaxio, uh, oh, apparently it's pronounced Vexia, in Sweden, though his missionary journeys also took him into Denmark. He died in Vexia in 1045, much revered throughout Scandinavia. <clears throat> And as I say, we also celebrate uh, Thomas Bray, who was a priest and founder of the SPCK and SPG. Born at Martin in Shropshire in 1656, Thomas Bray was educated at Oxford and subsequently ordained. He was chosen by the Bishop of London to assist with the work of organising the church in Maryland but legal complications led to an extended delay to his departure. He used this delay to organise a system of free parish libraries, initially for use in North America, but later also instituted in England. This led him to found the Society for the Promotion of Chris Christian Knowledge, SPCK, in 1698. He finally set sail for Maryland in 1699. Though well received by the governor, Bray realised that he could better promote his work from England. On his return to Europe, he also founded the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, SPG. He died on the 15th of February in the year 1730. So those are the two people we are commemorating today instead of yesterday. Let us just take a moment of quiet as we allow God to come into our hearts. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We take a moment to reflect on the past week and bring to God all those concerns that may be on our hearts. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And I think we will listen to that evening hymn before the ending of the day. Uh, let me just find it. Must be here somewhere. Music for Compline. That's what I want. And let's have from Call the Midwife.
our psalm for this evening is Psalm 4. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace, I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from the book of Isaiah the prophet, chapter 30, verse 15. Thus said the Lord God, <clears throat> the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. So now <clears throat> we come to the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Gracious God, fountain of all wisdom, we pray for all Christian people, for our Archbishops Justin and Stephen, and in Birmingham our Bishops David and Anne. We pray for all those who teach and guard the faith. May the word of Christ dwell richly in our hearts and knit us together in the bond of your love. We pray for the leaders of the nations and for those in authority under them. Give them the gift of your wisdom and a right discernment in all things. We pray for our group of parishes and each of our communities. Praying for those who live and work in Coventry Road North and Coventry Road South in Kingsbury. Prince's Road in Hurley, Dalse Crescent in Woodend, and the Common in Merivale with Bentley. 
We pray for those who would wish to visit our places of worship and the surrounding areas. Speak your word of peace in our midst and help us to serve one another as Christ has served us. We pray for those who do not believe and yet long to know who you are, the very word of life. Open their ears to hear your voice and open their hearts to the knowledge of your love in Christ. We pray for those bowed down with grief, fear or sickness, especially those who have asked for our prayers at this time. May your living word bring comfort and healing to all those in need. We give thanks for all those who have died in the faith of Christ including Margaret Chapman, Pamela Hewitt, Mary Willis, Sarah Jane Moore and Peggy Elizabeth Jarman. And we rejoice with all your saints, trusting in the promise of your word fulfilled. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. And the collect. Almighty Father, whose Son was revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, give us grace to perceive his glory, that we may be strengthened to suffer with him and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us conclude our prayers by saying the Lord's Prayer. Do join with me in the traditional version. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening. If you haven't already had pancakes as it is Shrove Tuesday, I suggest, like me, you go and start cooking some straight away. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and holy night and perhaps see you again tomorrow evening for our Ash Wednesday service. In the meantime, take care. God bless.